Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to show you how to assign and trigger macros from the TriCaster control panel. Now macros allow you to program complex actions on the TriCaster and play them back with just a touch of a button. And today I'll show you how to assign that macro to a button on the TriCaster control panel, taking complicated tasks and making them simple. So let me show you how it's done, son. All right, so I'm going to start off in the TriCaster TC1 interface. And the first thing I need to show you is where you can go to configure and create your own macros so that you can assign them to a control panel. All right. So go to the top of the screen and click on Macros, then Configure Macros, and then you have a couple of different folders in here. You can make your new one. I'm just going to select Session Macros, and from here, let me just do a quick review of creating a macro. All right, so again, macros are ways for you to record actions on the TriCaster and then play them back. Okay, so let's go ahead and start a new macro, and I'm just going to title it DSK Macro spell right. All right, cool. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click record, and now it's going to wait for an action from me to start doing something. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bottom of the screen here, and I'm going to turn on my downstream keyer number two via its transition, and downstream keyer number three, do the same thing, and then hit record, and that will stop recording of that. All right, let me put this all back to normal and show you what I've did here. So I'll go to downstream keyer macro, Click play and it will bring on my video and then my lower third. All right, now I want those to fire off at the same time. So again, a quick little review. I can edit this by clicking edit, going into the interface, and then you'll see that these are my shortcuts for the macros that I've done, uh, the different system commands, and then the delay between them when I was moving my mouse around and explaining it. So I can just hit delete and get rid of it. All right, and now when I hit play on my stream key or macro, it will fire off those transitions at the same time. Cool, so that's a little quick crash course review of uh, macros here. Now, macros can be extremely long. You can do a lot of com complicated things with it. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it very simple for today's example, okay? So uh, I have that one baked. Uh, I also have a few other uh, macros that I've built here, like for example, this start recording and stream macro, which if I hit play on that, it just starts my recording and stream. And then I have another macro that stops the recording and stream at the same time. Okay, so cool. Now I know that there's some TriCaster users out there yelling at the screen going, oh, you can do that in another way, blah, blah. I, I know, <laughs> I'm just kind of making this uh, very uh, simple for today's example, okay? So uh, now what I wanna do is I want to assign these downstream keyer, or sorry, these macros to a control panel button. Because for example, uh, I mean, it took me a lot to get into this menu. So if I go macros, configure macros, downstream keyer, hit play. Well, I might as well have just done that by hand, you know? So uh, let's go ahead and make that easy on ourselves by uh, uh, mapping it to the control panel. So to do that, within the same macro configuration uh, panel here, we'll go down to the bottom beneath our uh, recording and playback uh, options, and you'll see that I have an option here for external triggers, and I have four different slots to choose from. Now, what this means is I can then assign a another piece of hardware, like for example your keyboard, or uh, an outside piece of equipment like a Novation launch pad, or Stream Deck, or in this case, a TriCaster control panel to manage that. Okay, so if I click on click the set trigger, you'll see now it is listening. It is listening for a command for me to assign a button to it, okay? So let's move over to the TriCaster control panel. Here it is, looking gorgeous. All right, now the first thing that I wanna mention is when I go through and hit these buttons on the control panel here, you'll see that on my TriCaster, it's not, it's not tr triggering the external trigger here or listening for it. it these buttons are hard wired into or the pre-programmed to just stay how they are okay so you don't accidentally overwrite something that's here all right so we want to get to another bin uh, for us to uh, create some macros on and to do that we'll go ahead and zoom into the control panel here there we go uh, you'll see here on the bottom of the control panel a button that says macro and I'm gonna go ahead and hold that down 
And when I do that, let me zoom back out and show you that all of the buttons over here on the left have now been cleared. So this is basically a blank slate for you to go through and start adding macros to these buttons on the control panel. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom back in. So now what I want to do is I'm still holding down the macro button. Uh, I'm going to kind of keep these close for my camera positioning here. I am now going to press number 14 here on my program row. And when I do that, check it out. Now it has assigned my downstream keyer macro to that. And in fact, it has a little abbreviation of that macro. And if I go back to the uh, uh, TriCaster uh, interface here, now all I have to do is if I hold down macro again, you'll see that and just press that button and it will fire off that macro. Hey, and then if I hit it again, it'll go away. All right, because that one just does the auto transition side of things. Okay. So now uh, you'll see if, when I let go of macro, that goes back to its normal settings. Uh, so now what I want to do is let's do the same thing for our start recording and stream macro. Uh, click the external trigger, hold down macro. I'll put it on number 15 just so I can keep it close. All right, and then let's go to start recording stream. Listen for that, hold down macro. And there we go. Now it has stopped recording. Cool. So the, the cool thing about that is it has, you know, these little buttons here so that we can see what we are doing. All right. So now the next thing, let's go ahead and just start our show here. So let's start the recording of it. So there we go. It is off and running. I can bring up my downstream keyer and my picture in picture, make it go away and stop recording. Awesome. Cool. So that's the easiest way to do this. Now, if you want to clear those from the macro panel and put something else there, well, what you'll need to do is go back into the interface and where it says the external triggers, just go ahead and click the X button next to the program that's already in there and it is gone. So if I hold that macro again, you'll see now that one is missing. All right, so a quick note here, if I'm holding on the macros again, you'll see that I have names when I have my macros stored to any of the buttons on my program row. But let me go ahead and zoom out here. I do want to mention that you can use any button on the left side of the control panel. So even buttons on the preview row or even on the keys. However, when we do that, let me go ahead and just put it into this button here, for example. Now I have that saved, that macro saved. Uh, over here on 16, but the name does not appear. Now, all that means is the names will only be stored on the program row lines, but you can still use these buttons. So just keep that in mind. And as usual, play around with it and have some fun. So macros on a control panel, pretty cool, right? Just another way of making your shows run smoother and easier. Now, if you'd like to see more tutorial videos like this one, subscribe to the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. For formal New Tech product training, check out New Tech University, which you can find at newtech.com slash newtech u. And for more information about New Tech products and services, talk to your local reseller or visit our website, newtech.com. And as always, if you're posting your work on social media, tag us using the hashtags NewTech or TriCaster. And if you're heading to NAB this year, make sure you swing by our booth and sign up for a free demo. Or if you're not going, you can still sign up for an online New Tech product demonstration at newtech.com slash demo. I hope this video has been informative. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. Bye.